ferocious storm sweeping through Dallas left a mark once again. We go there to find some of the damage. You know, second time in less than a month for some folks just the east of Dallas. Large hail, but also wind. And that wind damage is where we go for Fox Weather's Brandi Campbell. She was there during the storms. And now you've been able to look at what some of the, the uh, devastating situations left behind for especially some businesses here in the area. Plus, the winds have been relentless in the Dallas area this morning, Brandi. That's right. It is very cold out here in the 40s, and we're still getting those wind gusts. I know that the wind advisory expired at 10 a.m. this time, but we're still feeling it right now. But this is just some of the damage we're seeing here at a townhome complex. About seven units impact. You can see uh, the front of this car, the windshield busted in because this is the roofing that was just up there. But I spoke with a resident who lives here last night coming by to try to get some dry clothes. He was having trouble even finding that. A lot of stuff inside of his apartment damage, a lot of water inside of his apartment. Here's what he had to say about those moments uh, when everything started to go down here. I went outside and, and I watched the, the sky and I said, oh, man, I saw the, the tornado and I'm run to my shelter. And just I hear like a lot of noises and, and, and I, saw, I see the, the roof blowing and everything. And I'm scared and I said, oh man, what am I gonna do? Just I'm going to, I went to my, my shelter in the restroom. All right, and we also have aerial views of where we're actually standing right now uh, for this townhome area. Again, the roof either blown off, ripped off here, but like Amy said, we don't have any official reports of an actual tornado in this area, but we know the winds were very strong when this storm passed through. Now, there were also other areas where there was a lot of damage during the storm. One was a car dealership. The front of that building also collapsed or was blown off, and so they also had some damage to the building, but also a customer's vehicle that was parked out front and debris just throughout that area. And on top of that, this happened during rush hour when these storms came through people were on the roads as hail was coming down some golf ball size I saw some that was quarter size there was some street flooding that was happening and people even getting stuck in the water there was some calls for high water rescues as, as a result of that flash flooding as well so a lot of impacts were felt yesterday and again we're still seeing some of it today we have uh, building code and uh, excuse me, building code people here checking on the residents as I speak right now just to make sure they're good and have a place provided for them to stay because, again, they have a lot of water intrusion here and the elements they're exposed to it with the roof ripped off. Guys? Yeah, hopefully they can get a, a quick way to sort of secure the property there. Fox Weather's Brandi Campbell in Irving, Texas. Thanks for your report. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.